now let us discuss about exception handling so in the python there are like some errors like print if you give some wrong symbol or there would be error let me show you like 5 divided by 0 it will give the error this error or we are if you are searching for a file and we, uh, python couldn't find the file in our system it will give the error showing you this traceback information so we don't want this traceback information we want our own custom message in this area so how can we do that so for that let us consider an example like a simple example like let us consider num1 is equal to input let us say it as int input and let us ask to enter number one num2 is equal to input number 2 so now we will be dividing the numbers let us say num3 is equal to num1 divided by num2 and print num3 so this is our program so let us first execute it so enter number one let us say 15 now let us execute it one more time let us say 15 and press enter number two let us press zero so now see we are getting this error let me bring it up a little bit oh my god so we are getting this error so sometimes we don't understand what it is saying so here we will be giving some meaningful string so so that the user can understand what the problem is so now let us so for that we can write this block there is a try and when there is an error in this block we will there is a accept and here we will be writing print you can't divide the number by zero because in any calculator also if you divide the number by zero it will be error so anything by zero is infinity so now we can write else we can print this okay so now this is this are this try and accept if the error comes in this block the message will be this one so that the user can easily understand now let us try to execute it press f5 press enter now it is asking you number one let us give 400 number two let us give zero so here we are getting a useful message you can't divide the number by zero so this is how by using try and accept we can write the program if you give the right number there will be no problem enter number one 400 and divided by 2 the number answer is 200 so this is all about exceptions keep practicing meet you in the next video